Oh, I'm using my old camera up there. Look at my... Look, I'm dressed like Tom Nook. <clears throat> Did Nathan assist you? No, that's why it's gonna be shit. Oh, I'm actually not wearing any uh, shoes or socks. So if this thing falls, you guys might get a show, you know? My hair looks real today. I have great hair. I, I'm telling you, like, my hair's not a, my hair's not even an issue. See? It's not even a little bit of an issue. Did you use conditioner? No. My hair looks good. It's very fluffy today. Okay, should we just get started? Fuck it. D. Okay, this webcam is really bad. So, like, look how long my fingers look. Smile. Look. Look. This is my, this is the cam I used to zoom on because I didn't want my quality to be too high when I was talking to my company. <laughs> because like, when you have a Zoom, when you're working from home, you can't be wearing like gamer headphones or like a fucking Audio Technica shit. You have to, if everyone in the Zoom call has like shitty MacBook Pro camera, you gotta have like a shit camera for work. It's too embarrassing. Like, can you imagine having a nano leaf in the background right here? <laughs> and I'm talking about investments. It's too confusing. Also, someone said I'm very milk-like because I drink uh, coffee out of a uh, straw. But uh, I'm, it's time to be a little more confident. Squeaks, you seem like the kind of guy to brag about your long fingers on a date. What are you talking about? <laughs> You've never- What are you saying to me right now? <laughs> Ew! Ew! <laughs> He's not nearly confident enough. Yeah, you're, you're right. I'm not nearly confident enough I don't go on dates because I'm taken. Obviously. See, I told you I'm gonna be honest today. Obviously, you guys know that. You guys know that. Alright, let's get started. Let's open this bad boy up. <clears throat> let's get started. Shit. We have the same keyboard. Dude, I have a better keyboard, but I choose to use these shittier keyboards because I like the feel of them. Do you know what I mean? Okay, by the way, this is the worst Q&A like, setup ever because I'm just using Chat Arena. <laughs> so like, if there's a question, maybe like I'll go like this. Yo, IBC Oppo, thanks for the prime. That's what we're gonna do. N nothing crazier. I, I don't wanna, you know, I there's no hashtag question. Let's just interact with each other as human beings, you know what I mean? Oh. My question, my question is why? <laughs> what? Okay, we're gonna get some. What do you mean? That's not a good question. Oh! And pop goes the weasel. Here, I'm gonna do a natural unboxing here. Okay, natural, natural unboxing as I see it. And the box is empty. The box is empty. Okay, 25 let's get year old man playing with Animal Crossing Lego for babies. Also, right. will you show Hog? If you're never going to do it, can I come on stream and shadow the hedgehog? Chat deserves something. No, you cannot shadow the hedgehog. Lanik, thank you for hey, the Squex, have months. you announced the OnlyFans yet? Um, I wish I could do OnlyFans, but unfortunately, I'm too shy. I don't think I'm comfortable showing my hog on the internet. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> or in private. Show <laughs> hog, please, man. Chat is dying. Don't! You're wrist. gonna get banned! Thank you, Motley Cyrus, for the five months. Only I can say that. It's an auto ban on Twitch now. Twitch has started implementing. This guy just said L. Fuck you. Who the fuck? No, seriously, fuck you, dude. 
Are you serious? Oh, Carlos. Hello, Squex. Yo! I saw that you cheated on Maya's quiz earlier, and now she told me that you're permanently banned from Alvius. Oh, good. Team sends his regards. Fucking oat fuck oatmeal. He scares the shit out of me. Good. I'm not going back because of oatmeal. Oatmeal beat me up. I I'm in big streamer drama. Good. Oatmeal hurts me. He beat me up. And I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the oatmeal stands out there. Okay. No, drama, drama. Get revenge. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can do. He can just kill me. I'm very weak, okay? Oatmeal owns you. You gotta meet the new wolves? Fuck you, I'm not gonna meet the new wolves. Wolves are scary. What are you talking about? Like, we're gonna stop by and say hi to wolves? Like, what? do you hear what you're saying? Oh, you should go meet the the animal that can kill you. No, or no, I'll just stay home playing Animal Crossing Lego. <laughs> Dude, Squeaks, it'd be such good content if you met something that would actually kill you. But you're a furry? No. We always knew you were a beta. I don't think there's such a thing as a beta. Right? <laughs> I was watching uh Love is Blind. No, Traitors. And the and one of them was like, "Oh, we should vote out this person because they're clearly an alpha." <laughs> they're like the alpha pack of the guys. I'm looking at one. What? A beta? Where? R2? Girl, a peanut could kill you. Yeah, it's called an allergy. Um, Squeeze, can you go on Love is Blind? I'm Okay, I don't know if I can say this, but a few years ago, I had the someone who worked at Indian Matchmaking reach out to me. <laughs> to go, I don't know, to do what on the show, but to go on that show. And I said no. That's racist? How is it ra- I'm Indian! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but how do they know? My skin color! I look Indian, I'm an Indian person! I'm still waiting for the Dr. K Biodata collab. Let me tell you right now, I'll never do it. I could never do it. I'm sorry to break it to you. Because I'm telling you, Dating, this is me passing judgment. Dating content on Twitch brings out the worst chatters ever. And this is someone who came from GTARP a second ago. <laughs> you do not want that. Also, no offense, but uh, like reality TV shows are disgusting. I think they're horrible. I'd rather watch my reality TV on Twitch. You know what I mean? The way God intended. Oh, and Survivor, for some reason. Except in the new Survivor seasons, they're for some reason, like, asking influencers to be on it. And I think that's a horrible idea. Look how cute this is. Look how cute this is. Come on. That is so cute. And listen, you, you smack it, you smack it, open it up, and there's a stick in there. Just like in Animal Crossing. Squeaks, do you have friends? I do have friends. And they don't give a fuck about Twitch. They actually will send me job postings. You know how people say like uh, Twitch streaming is like a meme? Because it's not like a real job. I don't think I've ever had a real job. <laughs> and I have a feeling most of you don't have a real job. <laughs> like it's hard. I'm not saying it's not hard. But like most jobs, deep, deep down, you know it's useless. Like a lot of corporate jobs, I was sitting there and I was exhausted. I was exhausted. But um, it was so meaningless. And I think you only get that perspective when you leave your job and you realize it's not the world.
Oh, and you are full of use right now playing Lego by yourself? This is the most... I am the king of uselessness. A hundred percent. I'm saying this, what I'm doing right now, is the most useless ever. I'm not saying streaming is useful. This is garbage. <laughs> what are you talking about? But I'm just saying most of the jobs I've had are garbage. Like any job that has a mission statement that's like two pages is total bullshit. Because then that's just like them trying to convince you that you're not working endlessly for nothing. <laughs> that's at least how I see it. Maybe I'm cynical. I'm like, oh yeah, we're changing the landscape of investments. It's like, bro, we're an investment bank. We're making the world a better place by doing this, this. No, you're not. <laughs> it's nothing. You're doing nothing. And everybody knows it. I'm joining the stream right now at my 9 to 5 office job. POG! Wait, what do you guys all do for work? Uh, don't dox yourself. Like, what sector does uh, chat work in? A lot Twix of looks like the kind of guy like who'd get visibly nervous if you pee in the urinal next to him. Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> Smoking, insurance, tech, librarian, supply chain, <laughs> manufacturing quality control. Well, I'd watch your back, Maddie. <laughs> there are things happening. Uh, stats. I'm an OnlyFans model. Hey, good for you. Any teachers in chat? Dude, I have a... I have a couple of professors. <laughs> and they're so degenerate. In the chat. I was a school assistant until last year. I'm telling you, if a place lays you off, you're too good for them. <laughs> At least that's what I tell myself. I'm in school to study be to become a streamer. Yeah, good luck. It takes a lot of hard work. <laughs> takes a lot. You have to go to the hot, like the most prestigious universities. Sweets, are you caught up on One Piece? I'm too old. I'm going to die before I see the end of One Piece. So why even waste my time? What's the point? <laughs> like... I don't want to get into something like One Piece. Soon my hair is going to turn into One Piece. You know what I mean? I guess my hair right now is two pieces separate. I need a piece for my hair. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Squeeze, you would look so good in One Piece. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you have dandruff? No, I don't. I've been using head and shoulders. My hair is completely clean. That's just gray hair. <laughs> Wait, I have gray hair. That's what I have, man. <laughs> That's way worse. God damn it. I'm balding and have gray hair. Man, oh man. Hey, Squeaks, I'm balding at 19. What should I do? Uh, You should do whatever makes you happy. Whether that's uh, shaving it off. Whether that's trying to fix it, hair transplant, there's no wrong answers. But what I would say is be confident in what's on the inside. When you apply to jobs on Indeed.com, why do you do a plug? What lie do you say to cover the gaps in your employment? Well, you could just say anything. Just say, like, your old job, you worked there until recently, even if you left a long time ago. Nobody cares if you lie on your job. I can. I'm the only one that's gonna tell you the truth. Lie on your resume completely. Every single person does, but they're scared of admitting that because they don't want to lose their jobs. How big can a lie be? Well, don't be stupid. <laughs> that's like me saying I have a full head of hair. You know, like obviously, like you could say, you like. If you worked as a grocer, you could just say, you know, you could you could say instead of a grocer, I was a quality, you know, assurance, you know, whatever. But obviously it depends on what you're applying. A flick, six to ten months. Be strategic. Yo, Percocet enjoyer, thanks for the tier one. Jesus. What is Percocet? Isn't that drugs? You guys are doing drugs? Don't do drugs. Only do the fun ones. 
<laughs> Pretending he doesn't know? I don't know what Percocet is. <laughs> and I have a feeling you don't either. I think most of you in your head are singing that fucking song. <laughs> okay, don't pretend like you're cool. That's all you know it from. You know what I'm talking about. Like, if I gave you a notepad and I said, draw Percocet, you wouldn't know what to do either. Yeah, I got no clue. Animal Crossing music for cat lovers. But I don't like cats. They're just worse dogs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I actually love cats. Would you ever get a pet? Uh, I have enough, uh, I have enough pets in the chat. I want to get a dog at some point in my life. I want to get a brown lab and call him Goomba. He doesn't want to have to clean up more hair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have enough going down my drain. <laughs> I got enough. Would you ever make an OnlyFans? No. Not because I judge it. I support sex work. Right? But because, uh, I'm too shy. Um, are you bisexual? No. I mean... No. I'm not bi. But, maybe there'll be a fella in the future where I'm, you know, I'm out in the town and I see a fella and I'm like, whoa, I'm attracted to him. Maybe then I will be. You don't know. What I hate... You know what I hate? I hate when people are like, hey, are you gay? And then someone responds, no! <laughs> it's like what? You say no. It's like it's like saying, "Do you like the color red?" And going like, "No, no, I don't." So is it a choice? What? <laughs> it could be for me. I mean, I don't know. Wait, am I in trouble? Do I have to apologize while building an Animal Crossing Lego? Oh no. What microphone do you use? This is a microphone that was given to me from work from home. <laughs> so it's an Audio Technica AT2020. This is literally one that I got from. I see years all ago. those books back there. Did you they actually read lab. them or are they just displayed to make you look like an intellect? I've read every single one. I used to read a book like every week. But then I started streaming and I became dumb as hell. I used to be an avid reader. I read, I used to read like uh, self-help books and then I'd read like uh, business books and then I'd read some non-fiction. My mom said I can stay the night but your mom has to bring me home by 11 tomorrow morning. Thank you, Red Knight. What about Marcus Aurelius? I went through a stoicism phase. <laughs> but doesn't everyone who works in business? Like one in chat if you used to read philosophy. Thanks, Lawrence Hook. Doesn't everybody go through that? Come on, be real. Marcus Aurelius is stupid? No, he's not. I think he's pretty smart. Any tips for up-and-coming entrepreneurs? Oh my god, I actually do have a tip for up-and-coming entrepreneurs. Don't buy into bullshit and streamers. Don't buy into people's advice. That talk about entrepreneurship hey, like it's a Vivek skill. Ramaswamy's Twitch stream? The skill is Why executing is on like a replica being passionate about Nancy an idea Pelosi's and building it. House and have For a real. keyboard on his desk that looks a lot like hers. Like, you know what I really hate? Like, do you guys know like Twitch YouTube videos that tell you how to you. stream on Twitch? <laughs> like, that's all bullshit. It's the same thing in entrepreneurship. Like, dude, a business is so different. There's not one overarching advice. But Ludwig? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Oh, like Ludwig's like how to stream? Um, I don't know what he said on it, but chances are, uh, there's not one set path for anything. Ludwig's first tip was to start streaming. <laughs> He made- wait, so get, let me get this straight. He made a YouTube video about how to stream, and his tip was to stream? <laughs> wait, actually maze. Wait, that's actually so fucking true? Holy shit. <laughs> his tip was to stream. What are your tips and tricks on to grow an audience? Dude, you find out and tell me, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Bro. Uh, there is 
literally no answer to that question. Because it's like, you just win the lottery. That's it. Get really, really fucking lucky. Have you ever been recognized as Squeaks? Uh, Twitch popularity is not real famous. I have been recognized as Squeaks. If I'm like near like a video game place. <laughs> But the most humbling thing you can do as a streamer is walk down a street. No one gives a fuck. No, I went to the N Nintendo store once to just for fun, just like shop around. And I was, I was with my friend, and I started speed running Mario on their sample machine because I wanted to beat it for some reason as like a funny thing on Joy Cons. One of the the uh, Nintendo employees came up to me and was like, uh, "Oh, how are you at the last level of this game?" And I was like, oh, I'm speed running it. And then the employee said, oh my God, wait, I know you. And then walked away. <laughs> I swear, he just, oh my God, I know you. Literally NPC turned around and walked away. It was amazing. It's like, what? Oh, cool. <laughs> Long time viewer, first time enjoyer. Assy McSlappy. <clears throat> Has anyone told you maybe losing some hair? Are you an ass or tits kind of guy? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> no decorum. <laughs> I, I am losing my hair. That's true. I'll admit it. That is true. Also, heart. How do you like that? It's about what's in your heart, chat. Not assa booba harta sola. I have some hair. Do you want mine? <laughs> yeah, please send me your hair. That sounds awesome. That sounds really good. When did you start balding? I've been balding for the past like nine years. That's why I don't think I'm balding. Question, what's the worst date you've ever been on? Oh. It's usually because I'm on the date. Do you guys realize I'm like this in real life? <laughs> like, I have, like, real-life Reddit comments. You know what I mean? I went on a date once in Portland where my date started dipping her pizza into ranch dressing. And I thought that was so disgusting. But I, I think I accidentally made a face and she's like, no, 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 it's good. It's really good. Try it. So I ate a whole pizza while dipping it in ranch dressing. And I didn't realize ranch dressing was dairy and I'm lactose intolerant. So the whole time, my stomach is, it's, I have to shit so bad. It was like a balloon slowly inflating. <laughs> I was, I was literally clenching. I've never had that so much. It was so bad. So is cheese. I had cheeseless pizza, all right? <laughs> but this is back when I didn't have any dairy at all. I didn't have any dairy, so when I had dairy, it would just be a speed run out of my ass. <laughs> Sorry to be graphic, but I was so sensitive. I was so sensitive. So now that I now I have I have uh I've had dairy. Can you tell us about the story about you riding a bike to that girl's party? <laughs> no, I don't want to. You guys think I'm cool, right? I can't. I can't. No, I'm too cool. I'm too cool. You guys are going to ruin your illusion. Okay. In college. Why am I I don't want to tell you this story. In college, I was in a group project with this girl who like always used to sit next to me and talk to me. Chat, she was into me. I didn't realize it, okay? We we're talking, we we're laughing, we we're in the same group, you know. I forget what class it was. I think it, let's just say math. And then one day I was studying in the library, like, and I got a text saying, hey, do you want to come over or do you, do you have any plans? And I said, uh, no, but I might be going to some party. And she's like, I have a party happening in my apartment tonight. And I was like, I swear to God, I texted back saying, oh my God, I love to party. <laughs> 
And then she gave me her address, so I, you know, I went to UC Davis. So I bicycled over to her house with my helmet because you should be wearing a helmet. I'm a good boy. So I bicycled over to her house. I knocked on her door. She opened the door and there was no one there. It was just her. I was like, oh my God, I thought there was a party here. And she said, oh no, there's no party. And then I said, oh, no party. All right, well then I'll, I'll get, go ahead and head on home. <laughs> so, and I, I was half off my bike. So I whipped my leg over the bike and did one of the maneuvers where I was like reversing, moving, and I helmet half off, reversing, moving until I left. And then from that point on, she never talked to me again. <laughs> Every time when we're in class, she never sat next to me. She never talked to me. That was it. And I remember on the bike home being like, wait. <laughs> and then I think I went home and played Mario Maker or something <laughs> with my roommates. And I liked playing Mario Maker with my roommates and writing fuck you in coins. Did you That's have a horn that you honked as you waved goodbye and said <laughs> to <"Tudles." laughs> No. So that's my riz chat. That's my riz. I'm not blushing. I'm sorry. I like to party. She lied. Why would she lie? Am I an asshole in that? What do you mean? Uh, hey, do you still like to party? I love to party. I'll even bring some white claw, you know? Imagine that. No, but partying when you're out of college is just sad. Call outside of college parties are horrible. Cause it's like, oh my god, I bought a new sofa. Show us your pants, flirt. Yo, thanks, sensual chocolates. I'm not wearing any. I'm really playing over the risk. Anything you miss about corporate life, squeak, see? I miss nothing about corporate life. Working fucking sucks. I miss some of my coworkers though. I feel like they were very normal, which was cool. I was like more in tune with normal things. Now, if I hang out with people who aren't streamers, I'm like so crass and I can't help it. I'm like, come balls, shit, hairline. <laughs> and they're like, hey, what about the office? Jim and Pam in the office. <laughs> Did you see the new uh, season of SNL? What? <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a total Jim. Hey, what character would we be in Friends? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? I can play Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Okay, I kind of have a hot take that might upset some people. All these like re-releases or new games that are that are coming out are just the old games but worse. Like Mario Strikers, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, Mario, uh, you know, even like Su uh, Luigi's Mansion. They're just worse. the The old one was so good. SMC4 on the DS. Doing well. Hey, do you think it's a nostalgia thing? No, I think the games are worse. And I, or am I just a boomer? The games are just worse. I, I stand by it. Cause I'll play like a game like uh, like a new good game. And then I'm like, oh wait. Like even um, the new Battlefield collection coming out, they just use AI to upscale textures. Like, do you guys know, Uh, sorry, Battlefront? The new Battlefront game is 60 gigabytes because they just didn't optimize it. The OG, and it's just a re-release of the OG Battlefront. It just, I don't know why everyone's not like being like, wow, that fucking sucks. For context, 60 gigabytes is more than Cyberpunk. <laughs> and The Witcher 3. It's bigger than The Witcher 3. And it's the original Battlefront. The old ones are 12 Squinny gigs combined. Beanie, I'm having a party at my apartment. If you want to come over, you can even bring your cute little Legos. <laughs> Fabio, thanks for 13 months. Testicles. Wait, do you do? Okay, you actually want to hear Riz? You know what my classic first date move was? Or sorry, second date move was make a pizza. <laughs> I love doing pizza from scratch dates. Lunch. Bold. But I love it. We'd go to Trader Joe's and buy uh, just a, like a pre-made pizza dough, and then we can customize it half muffin. and half. Dude, Dan Giesling says coffee dates are a bad idea also. Like, what is he talking about? I'm also not taking advice from a Twitch streamer. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's probably a healthy attitude to have. Says the New Yorker. Sorry, donkey ass 420. What do you mean? 
What's wrong with being a New Yorker? I don't understand why people hate on New York. New York rules. I'm sick of the internet just shitting on New York. They are mean. New York is the best state. Okay, I guess if you don't, if you want your apartment to be really nice, then don't live in New York. But live in New York if you want to go outside and like do stuff. LA? LA fucking sucks. LA sucks. La. Like I remember like everyone, everyone's like move here, move here, move here. Why would I want to live in like Texas? <laughs> Sorry. What are you talking about? Dude, if you're a fucking streamer, you can live anywhere in the country and all these streamers choose the worst places. State tax, streamers are rich. Streamers are so fucking rich. If there's one thing to splurge on, it's a place you live. It's crazy. Oh, you're trying to avoid taxes. You're not working. Like, a, a streamer's making too much money. What do you think about Boston? I've actually never been to Boston. Want to avoid taxes? Come to Dallas. It's, it's actually a really good point. But you know what the downside of uh, living in Dallas is? It's living in Dallas. <laughs> okay? That's the big downside, is that you go outside and you're in fucking Dallas, Texas. What are you talking about? But yeah, you save uh, some money on taxes. Where would you go then? I'd live in any place that's walkable. That's it. That's all, that's the only thing that I really like is to go outside, go on my walk, get my coffee, good restaurants around. There, things don't close early. That's insane. I mean, Europe looks beautiful too. I think Europe is great. Amsterdam would be wonderful. I think Amsterdam's a great uh, example of a place like that, too. Yeah, but it's expensive. Yeah, but you're a streamer. Like, I remember I used to live in rural Washington when I was working from home in finance. But that was because of taxes and money. I just want to smoke weed. Why would you live in rural Washington? Just move to Seattle? Um, Seattle was ex is really expensive. I mean, I'd live in Seattle if I had a good spot. Seattle's nice. But I'm just, there's some places in uh, America that are just horrible. <laughs> like, just fucking terrible. Please, do you have a license? I used to drive all the time. I recently sold my car. Some, most of the U.S. is terrible. I think some of the U.S. is beautiful. Like, have you ever been to Yosemite? And, uh, like, some of the nature in America is just unbelievable. There's some good spots. Muir Woods is great. You're just listing places without people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Portland, I think, is beautiful. Portland, Oregon. Uh, shout out to the Pacific Northwest. I think that place is amazing. I love it. Except it's woke. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what if there's a new chatter in here just waiting? Finally, he speaks the truth. Atlanta is good if you like food and don't care if your car, get, car gets its window busted randomly. Yeah, but everybody cares. That sucks. What are you talking about? If you don't mind, you know, crime. It's like I went to California recently and straight from the airport, I was at In-N-Out Burger. And my friend was like, oh, bring your suitcases because someone will steal your the bags from the car. And I'm going to In-N-Out for two minutes to pick up a burger. I couldn't believe it. Holy shit. I guess Joe Biden's America, huh, guys? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, brother, something about this streamer. He's one of the good ones. <laughs> well, brother. Yeah, I was Oakland, which I love Oakland. Do you like to hike? I love to hike. Am I a hippie? Don't they have drug problems in Portland? Yeah. I haven't been to Portland in a long time. You are the most Coachella person I know. I once went, I once went to a concert in the woods and everyone was naked. And I was wearing my best flannel and khakis. <laughs> okay. This is back in Davis. I had no clue that I was going to take off my clothes. But everybody was just completely naked for some reason. And I remember this girl came up to me and was like, hey, do you want to do you want a brownie? And I said, yeah, because I love brownies. I didn't realize. <laughs> Ooh. You know, ego death or whatever. 
Should we should pull out the gay voice when you rage? Brezzo, I don't even know what the gay voice is. I don't know what you're talking about. I think all voices are equal. <laughs> Except the voice of hate. I don't have a gay voice. That's just how I talk. Anyway, <laughs> this isn't a bad time to take a sip out of my straw. <laughs> Is it? I'm just com un completely unrelated. No. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> it's better for your teeth. It's better for your teeth. Are you on Raya? I have a girlfriend. Secret. Wait, what is Raya? Is that a uh, dating app for like uh, for like influencers? <laughs> It's an influencer dating app. I'm sure you find a lot of really great people on there. Some really, some really awesome people. It's a dating app for celebs. Oh wait, actually, I know someone who's on Raya. And if you take a screenshot, you get kicked from the app. Did you guys know that? I was kicked? It's like fancy Snapchat. Oh no! Or you can just take a photo of your screen. Yeah, but influencers are dumb. <laughs> right? They don't know that. They'll just be like, buh, oops. Okay, don't laugh. Pookie, you are smarter than this. You absolutely are. Please, this isn't a bit right. Bed in Please. the front. We got, we got a little, uh, you know, kitchen there. A plant. We got the uh, thing here. We got the chair right over there, and we're gonna put Rosie. Dude, her fucking tail doesn't let her sit down. We'll put Rosie right in the front greeting people. How do you like that? Wait, this is cute. Oh my god, wait. Look. Boom. No wonder you don't play Animal Crossing. Look at Holy this. shit. What a disaster. <laughs> Shut up. You call that a house? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, in New York, this would go for $7,000 a month, am I right? What the hell? Look. So cute. Squeeze, are you celebrating Bicycle Day this year? I think we should celebrate less holidays. Except, obviously, the ones that are meaningful. Like, someone's like, oh my god, did you know it's National uh, Donut Day? I just feel like it makes, like, the really influential, and, like, really important ones mean less. Do you know what I mean? Oh, great, we're celebrating donuts? Like, you know what I celebrate? Equality. Oh, yeah, I just did celebrate Mario Day. It's Pi Day tomorrow? Who cares about Pi Day? See what I mean? Pi Day? Like, uh, it's so goofy. Oh, 3.14? What does Pi even... Wait, what does Pi actually measure? I have no idea. Duh. I know it's like part of like the circumference of a, but what does pi mean? Does anyone know? It's like a circle, I know, but like radius of a circle is pi r squared, but it's just a magic number. What is it? I don't understand. Classic finance major. Oh yeah, I forgot when I was sitting in the bank and a customer would call me saying, hey, do you know what pi is to the fifth? Numeral? When do I get to the part where the outro plays? Wait, let's see your uh, history. You look like you can't ride a bike. Squeaks doesn't celebrate Juneteenth. You're letting your whole family down, family line down right now. When do I get a part where the outro plays? Um, first time chatted today. Followed since last month. His name is Woody with a hoodie. I don't know. <laughs> I think I should ban him. I don't know. If you write something really nice, I'll unban you. Like uncircumcised? Well, I hope so. <laughs> I don't want any other hoodies here, you know? I don't want like a, especially with someone who is so sketchy. <laughs> he was feeling spicy. When does his hair grow back? Now that's the chatter I want here. I like this setup because I can actively see when Squeaks ignores my messages. Wait. I don't ignore anyone's messages. I literally will just look at the wrong time. Because if I was only reading the good messages, 
I, I feel like I, I barely see good ones. <laughs> I'm being so mean. <laughs> no, I see good messages and I'll respond to them. But sometimes people just write come for like nine hours. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to say? Oh, come, huh? Pretty cool. No way. Come, huh? That's awesome. My messages are good. All right, I'm going to read them. Bless you, babe. Pie is the shape of your head, your hair peninsula. You read my message every time I say something gay? Yeah, but Prezo, do you know what the opposite is? If I don't read your messages that refer to anything gay, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, you don't understand. There's, there's no winning. I don't want to be, you know. Uh, hey, Squeaks, what do you think the average age of your viewers is? Old. You guys are old. Census when? Do you think my chat would accurately fill out a census? <laughs> look to your left and look to your right. Most of you guys are not serious ever. You think you're accurately gonna... Do your real census. All I know is whenever I say, job's done, you guys took the fucking Warcraft shit in the chat. But here's the problem with an old chat is you guys are gonna, like, you know, grow up one day and stop going on Twitch. Then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be in the fucking retirement home. You're gonna put me in the retirement home. Thank you, Andy. I'll visit you. Baby, if millennials spent less money on Legos, they could afford a real house instead of a plastic Shut one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wait, true. Wait, who is the guy that said millennials should stop buying avocado toast? I really like that guy. Facts. Absolute facts. Make an OnlyFans and cash out. I don't think I'll get uh, very many subscribers, guys. That's why I'm not revealing my shoes. <laughs> or my feet. You know, because one day I'm going to sell it for a million dollars. And then I'll do a live stream from Dubai. <laughs> okay. You'll see. Ocarina of Time stream when? I can do Ocarina of Time. I'm down to play it sometime this year. It's just that it's so long. You guys really want to watch Ocarina of Time? It's so long. But I'm down to play it. I can also play it on my alt stream. I feel like Zelda on stream is rough because I'll just be reading chat. Tears of the Kingdom? Zelda is overrated. Mods? Get that guy. Tie up that guy's legs and hands and dangle him outside of the ship into the pit of sharks. Yeah, but here's the thing, Luna. I like backseaters because I'm sitting here looking like a fucking asshole doing puzzles. Bald guy builds kids toys, punk. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm an idiot. Have, have you ever been, like, uh, playing a Resident Evil game? One in chat if you would look up the solution to those puzzles. When you're alive, you can't do that. You know what I mean? Every single, when I used to play games off stream, if I was stuck for like 10 minutes, I'd look it up. I don't care. I was like when someone came in here and was like, hey, how do you deal with backseaters? <laughs> I was like, what? Just grow up and deal with it. <laughs> just, just grow up. What are you talking about? I don't care. No, you guys, you guys hide them. Meta comments are different. That's not the same as backseating. I love backseaters because they make me feel smart. Fuck it, I'll cheat on the wordle. I don't care. I'll cheat on the fucking wordle. You think I give a you think I give a shit? Cause like if you guys don't think I'm smart, then what? You know? That's whole my whole brand. No honor. I have no honor. Except I'll never cheat on someone's like game show. <laughs> I think that's particularly pathetic. Unless there's like a lot of money involved. Wait, maybe I would. Actually, I'd take it back. I 100% would. But I'd be too obvious. He's lucky he's handsome. Wait, what? Pog. What's your hair wash routine? <laughs> uh, I've been just using shampoo, no conditioner. Because I bought this conditioner, Pantene. And it's like, oh, you know, make it, make your hair like hydrated, but it just makes it oily. What shampoo? I use the L'Oreal fish one, the one that's shaped like a fish. Okay, here's what, I, here's my hot take. I think most toothpastes, toothpastes are the same. 
I don't think there's a difference between like Colgate and Crest. I think it is all similar as long as it has fluoride. Most of it is bullshit. It's just marketing. Like, okay, there are some that are like lighter that are if you have sensitivities in your gum. I just think dentistry is mostly garbage. <laughs> okay, now I sound like... <laughs> okay, I don't think that. I just have a hunch. Okay? Almost a year of your fine ass. Like, I remember when I was a kid. Like, okay, let, let's do some science here. One in chat if you had braces. One in chat if you had braces, no lying. Look at, most of the chat had braces. I had crooked teeth growing up. And I went to the orthodontist and the guy was like, dude, you need braces. Oh, you have to do it. And then my mom just said no. And then he was like, what? <laughs> and he, she was like, kids teeth are crooked. They'll, they'll, you know, grow up straight. Show your teeth. She was right. They're straight. I feel like they're always trying to sell you on stuff. And then, wait, should I go tooth cleaning? I also don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> FYI, don't take my advice for anything. <laughs> go to the dentist. <laughs> Obviously, you guys know I'm a fucking idiot. But, 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 hey doctor, my streamer said, <laughs> hey, my streamer said that you're trying to upsell me. Um, microphone emoji, go ahead, doctor. I just, uh, I just feel like my dentists are so, they're so, like, judgmental. Do you even floss your teeth? Go fuck yourself, bucko. How about that? Go fuck yourself. The answer is no, I don't. <laughs> oh, have you ever heard of brushing your teeth, you fucking disgusting piece of shit customer? Hey, have you ever heard of a toothbrush before? Dentists are the worst. Pretty sure they've done studies which have shown that dentists with student loans slash debt are 100% more likely to be filling. Yeah, okay. You might be right, but I don't trust anything I read in the chat. <laughs> and I think it's best for us not to trust that. You're probably right, but I can't listen to anything that starts with pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure a study. It just reminds me of Joe Rogaine, <laughs> you know? You know, I'm pretty sure there was a study uh, by Stanford. Jamie, Jamie, pull up the study. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, go ahead and pull up a study. You know what I've started doing? I've started listening to a podcast. And then whenever my friends talk about an issue that's semi-related, I say, I'll say, you know, I read something somewhere. <laughs> when I just listen to like, you know, two comedians talking. It's funny you mentioned that. You know, I read, um... Hey, Squeaks, my brother got gay married yesterday. Say congrats. I'll give him a, a... Congrats, of course. Good for your brother. Lil Dookie, thanks for the five gifted. Squeaks, you're homophobic? Why did you hesitate? Because I said... I was gonna say... He got gay married. I'll give him a gay congrats. But I didn't mean it in a weird way. But now I'm self-conscious. You know what I mean? I just a regular congrats. That's why I... Uh, Coxie takes the prime. I don't know what I'm saying. Wait, get ready to pog. Look at distraction. You think gay is not regular? I think gay is better than regular. How do you like that? Saved it. What are your favorite restaurants in New York? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Just like watching a small streamer, I don't want to get them too popular because I like the attention. I don't want the crowds. You know what I mean? Fair. I would come and kill you. Yeah, and, and that. <laughs> yeah, and also that, you know? <laughs> oh, I've been waiting here for so long. <laughs> Fair. Huh. Do you hate small business? I'm going to be honest, I do. I don't support small businesses. I prefer Starbucks than your shitty cafes. I don't want to go into your fucking store and buy, like, garbage. Okay? I want to go to Sears and buy well-known garbage. You know what's funny? People will be like, hey, do you support small business? And everyone will say yes. But where do you guys shop? <laughs> You know what I mean? 
Where are you guys shopping? You guys going to the local, like, trinket store? Huh? How many of you get Starbucks? Would you drive an extra mile to get a local coffee spot? I don't think you would. And that's the problem. You know what the most fucked up business move is of all time? Amazon, who made Barnes & Noble go out of business, bought Barnes & Noble and is reopening them. That's like shitting on someone's grave after murdering them. That's crazy. That's crazy. What a power move. Amazon is your boss? Yeah, I don't think the Twitch CEO likes me. <laughs> because I think I let him down at uh, volleyball. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the Twitch CEO was like, oh, like he was on our team. And he's like, let's not try to uh, catch the ball as a strat. I said no. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm going to try to catch the ball. And then I got out. Oops. Chibli did a gambling segment with the slot machine furniture in New Horizons. That is funny. I never streamed Animal Crossing because I'm too insecure that I'm a grown, balding man who's like making a cafe in that game. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not confident enough to be like, Oh my god, I'm looking for, like, the most beautiful centerpiece for my table. <laughs> I can't. Instead, I'm building the Lego. Kill the part of you that cringes? I think being... I think cringing is normal. Don't you want to cringe at cringe things? I'm cringe. I for sure am cringe. But I also think it's cringe to walk up to people and say, Cringe. Cringe. <laughs> cringe. That's cringe. I think that's also cringe. Cringe, cringe. Like, I love watching cringe copulations on tw uh, YouTube. Is that, isn't that cringe? Cringe, cringe. Also, you know what? Here's a real hot take. I don't think anyone under the age of 25 should decide what's cringe. <laughs> because you are cringe. If you are under 25, accept it. Everything you do, you're gonna look back on and be like, oh my God. What the fuck was wrong with me? Old man cope? See, like, that sentence clap? I'm telling you. Over 25 is also cringe? I'm sure it is. But I, I'm still, like, 30. I'm still in my 30s, so... All right, chat. It's over. Not, I'm not breaking up with you. I'm gonna start decorating. No, I'm not breaking up. I didn't mean to say it's over. It's over. All right, chat. You want to see the work we've done? Oh my god, W Omega Lol RK. Did he just say work? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he just said work. Wait, she's so cute. <laughs> Look how happy she is. <laughs> what the fuck? She's so sweet. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, chat. Get ready to pog. How cute is that? Can you guys see it all? How cute is that? And then here's the inside. I'll break it apart. Look, how, this is the inside. The door is not opening? You were saying? You were saying? We got a flower. It's coming loose. It really is amazing. I agree. Here's the rosy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just put a thing in front of it. I can move the tree. The fun part of this Lego is uh, you can just move it, the stuff around. Look at this. We moved it around. Look at this. Pablemo. And now guess what? The door is open. That was awesome. But that was a great Lego. I'm gonna put it right under my monitor. Oh my god, it broke! No, oh, it's fine. So I have to move my Bowser. <laughs> I try to keep that stuff hidden from you guys, like my toys. <clears throat> Don't die of cringe. Okay. 
I have all my toys ready. Wait, it looks so cute. Lancer, thank you for the sub. Wait, that was so fun. This is gonna sound weird, but the bunny plushie behind your back looks like it's showing its ass to us double caked up. Yeah, you're right, that is fucking weird. <laughs> what are you talking about? What the fuck are you saying to me? How can you guys say that, but when I'm like, oh, uh, thank you, I'm so invested in you guys, you guys are like, huh, huh, huh? Hey, yo, did he just say something weird? Uh huh, uh huh? Well, you are 40. Okay, so, like, what do 40 year olds talk about? Like, should I talk about insurance? Like, what are you saying? What do you mean? What does me being in my 40s have anything to do with this? Talk about sports? I can talk to you guys about sports. Like, have you guys watched LCS? CS2? Dude, why is Valve doing so bad? I hate them. I don't mean it. They made my favorite game ever. But they also are ruining my favorite game. What's wrong with CS2? Dude, cheaters. People are just blatantly cheating. I wanna play more simulation games. You know what, who am I kidding? Let's just play Stardew Valley. But I don't want you guys to get the wrong, uh, to get the right idea about me. Or the wrong idea, you know? It'll just be like, like cool Stardew. I would love to play Stardew, actually, for real. Do a Jojo Mart run? Have you ever played Papers, Please? I have. No LaCroix? Dude, I drank LaCroix, and the whole chat made fun of me. This was, like, 2016. And now, what do I see? All these bozos sipping on their pample mousse. I, it used to be an ongoing joke that I would order LaCroix. You had viewers in 2016? Dude, I had, like four or five viewers that's insane amount of people to me <laughs> fuck you guys how are you guys so judgmental can you eat i couldn't eat, i would get nervous sort of like five people like five people will you play stardew 1.6 on stream oh is the hit registry better is it better net code do they fix the vac anti-cheat it actually is my first, uh, one of my first streams, I played Outlast, and then my viewer count hit 20, and I got nervous, and I left. <laughs> I didn't even say goodbye. I got really scared. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> when it hit 20, I literally just ended the stream because I was too scared. I still am scared. Have you played Last Epoch? I've never even heard of it. It's Diablo 4, but actually good. Yeah, but I don't want to play, like, a Diablo game on stream because I want to pay attention. Like, look at my eyes. I'm just darting. Did you ever finish that Mario Lego? I did. It's in my family room. Under my TV, I have this whole collection of Legos. After stream, as one of my hobbies, I build a ton of Legos. How old are your kids? <laughs> I don't have any kids. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what's really sad? When I moved, uh, I didn't have any furniture that I was bringing, so the movers had to mainly move my Legos. <laughs> so I just saran wrap my Legos together, and they're like, is this all, sir? And I said, yeah. You got movers for your Legos? Well, I, I was an idiot. I thought I was going to take all my furniture, but I didn't. You needed a month to move? Yeah, my move was pretty rough. Because I was also, chat during that time, extremely sick. I never showed it on stream. But I had the fever. I didn't have a voice for three weeks, yeah. I was in really bad shape. Pneumonia, he had pneumonia. But I still stream like an idiot. You should go to Legoland. Perfect place for a 40-year-old and his family. I don't have a family. I'm just a millennial. Is chat your family? Yeah, chat's my family who wants to fuck me. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you, out of your fucking mind? Your family? You're, you're insane. It's called being from Alabama? No, that's not what being from Alabama is about. I mean, in Alabama, they're just looking for things to do. There's nothing to do. I get it. Like, I don't get that, but I, I understand the need of, you know, the boredom. 
Looks like I came at the right time. I was about to say how nummy yummy you look today. Pookie Wookie, love you, big sexy. Chat, that's the only time you're ever gonna hear someone say that they came at the right time. Enjoy it. I didn't know you were so good at organizing. Michael, I just wanna let you specifically know, I read all of your comments in my head and I appreciate it. Keep it up. You are my favorite chatter. Fuck every other person here besides Michael. You know how contrarian you have to be to be so positive in this chat? Like, that's a leader. There's a leader among us. Among us? Someone messaged me the other day and said, Squeaks, it would have been wild to see you during the Among Us era. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. The era? What are you talking about? I'm down to play Among Us, I just never get invited, you know what I mean? Never trust anyone in this industry. COVID squeaks would have hit different? Bro, I streamed during COVID. You guys act like I just appeared out of nowhere. I've been here. I was a streamer during that time. <laughs> it was all my favorite chatters, you know, me, uh, Pat K, Nathan, Nightbot, Stream Elements, all of the best chatters were there. The golden era, truly. Uh, to me, it didn't exist until last month. <laughs> I've been around. Look at my hair. You guys could have seen my hair recede live. I mean, one day I was just twirling my fingers around and then a portal opened and this bald Indian guy appeared from the ether you wouldn't believe. Ain't no way! Be honest, how many fraud dates have you gone on? My bet is at least three. Froyo dates? I'm taken. How many fro- I've been on- I've been on one Froyo date. But it wasn't a froyo, it was frozen yogurt. And my line was, go ahead, put anything in your yogurt. It's on me. <laughs> Riz. That's what I call Riz, baby. How can Nathan change my category? Bro's not even a mod. Did that work? How the fuck did he do that? I went a long time ago to Omakase, where that's where you sit on a counter, and I, I don't remember, I've had it once, and they like serve you sushi. I asked for a California roll, and I got a laugh, but I wasn't joking. That's my favorite sushi. I'm watching this shit with my mom, you can't cuss. Oh my god, wait. Loreen? Oh my god, tell her I say hi. Wait, are you serious? Oh my god! They look thrilled. There's nothing more depressing than grocery store shopping. Especially after work. It's the saddest place to be. I love grocery shopping. Yeah, but like, if you're going for like staples, it's boring. It's like Disney World for adults. Grocery store shopping? Maybe I'm an asshole? Do you guys look forward to going to grocery store shopping? I, I hate it. I think it's the worst thing ever. It's horrible. Genuinely love it. I go every day just to pick up like a day's worth of food. Yeah, a single day. But sometimes I'll still get sushi, you know what I mean? I'm worth it. Why do people say like women love to go on sushi dates? Is that like a Northern Line meme or something? By the way, I watched that women... Uh, movie women talking i don't know if you've seen it yet surprise you know what they talk about what to order from the sushi restaurant the bit doesn't hit it's not a misogynistic bit to say that women love sushi can we just get google to answer the question for us i'm just gonna listen if jay leno came up to you on the street and said who do you think loves sushi more on average women or men what would you say what would you say? Then don't give me some bullshit that you'd be like, oh, I think that it depends on the person. 
Duh. Is Jay Leno shoving a mic in your face? Who loves sushi more, men or women? You know the answer. And if you pretend not to know the answer, that just tells me how much you know the answer. Yeah, women are more likely than men to like sushi. Because women are better at having good taste. Men are stereotypically more likely to eat something like a hamburger, which is highly overrated. Full stop. How do you feel about that? And Dan hates coffee dates? I hate dates. <laughs> I'm like, hello, I want to play League of Legends. I don't have time. I don't want to waste my time, like, getting to know someone. Why does everyone say flirt when you just say rack? Because they're horny. <laughs> what do you mean? Because they hear rack and they think boobs. Chat will say flirt to anything? I know. I'd be like, hey guys, thanks for the sub. Yo! Did he just thank the sub? Oh my god! I'll be your sub. See what I mean? There's too many sex terms. Back in my day, the only sex term was missionary. The way God intended. Oh yeah, next week we're playing Elden Ring. Also, whenever we die, we're spinning a punish wheel. I don't know what that means or if that's a leak. We're doing it in one sitting. By the way. Okay, I have a feeling we'll talk about it. I have a, we're going to talk about it closer to it, but I got a feeling that Ludwig's going to summon. I don't want to summon. I think summoning is cheating. I think it's cheap. If you keep online on, I'll be there too, but I can't wait to see you. All right. <clears throat> Goodbye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> Shut up and do cocaine like an adult. Fun stream. I love building this Lego. Yeah, I'll give you guys one last look. And then one more. The other house. Oh. I can't wait to put this on my shelf.